genius for life. Coconut smoothies coming at you. Hello, welcome to episode 82 of 15 Minutes of Genius. I'm going to slide a little more this way, so I'm fully centered. That's the OCD in me. Uh, so we bring on amazing guests in CPG, uh, people that have formed different software applications, created podcasts, which are both these gentlemen that are that I'm bringing on the show here, entrepreneurs, also both these gentlemen, and uh, overall just really cool, awesome people with great stories. So before rolling into our guests, we'd like to give a quick plug to Mark Nicholas, Mark N, Studios.net. He's the guy putting this whole thing together. Make sure to reach out. I guess, Mark, you're not putting your email in the beginning anymore, only at the end. There it is. There we go. See, I ask and we receive right there. And there's a studio. That's a live studio. I'm, I'm, I'm sitting there. I'm just really skinny, so you can't see me. Cannot see me. That's not a screenshot. This is live view. So, uh, yeah, so make sure also 15 Minutes of Genius is on Spotify, we're on Apple Podcast, and we're also on YouTube, and we post it on LinkedIn every Tuesday and Friday, so make sure to check it out. Without further ado, our guests, I met these guys probably about six years ago. I've seen them at probably every trade show for food and beverage known to man, Fancy Food Show, Expo West, Green Festival, the Veg Fest, uh, they're everywhere. So we have... Chris Imbarian and Yuval Selick. They are the, uh, the co-founders of Promo Mash. And also, Yuval has his own podcast, which is called Seven Hats Podcast, which just debuted and are now on, I think, right now, I think during taping at episode six. So that's a really exciting podcast. We'll hear more. So a little, little uh, summary on Promo Mash. They're managing critical sales and marketing activities with spreadsheets and email, which is a thing of the past for most industries, except for, for CPG. On shelf, I'm actually probably reading the wrong recap. I'll just say this. It's a great app. These guys will tell us more about it. I'm going to stop reading from LinkedIn. You guys tell me. Chris, you've all, how's it going, guys? Good, Alex. Awesome. Right on. Thanks for joining me. Uh, we have kind of the Brady Bunch set up here um i you know i don't know which brady bunch you guys are <laughs> that's right yeah, this way and this way here they are so uh, <laughs> this is uh it's like a comedy show i love this so okay so uh normally we have one guest on we have both you guys on why don't you uh, both you guys how did you guys meet because obviously uh you're from the same you're the from the same pod you both look exactly the same so tell me History, how'd you guys meet? And uh, tell us more about Promo Mash. It had pole dancing involved. Pole, didn't it? pole dancing was involved, yeah. yeah. Pole so, da- I thought you said Paul, <laughs> Paul dancing. I'm like, there's a Paul that was dancing. <laughs> so right. it's, a funny, it's a funny story how we met. Um, you know, I have a CPG brand, Luvala Skincare. And my wife was networking and met his wife. Um, Susie and Susie was in multi-level marketing. So she was selling wellness products. So she was trying to sell my wife wellness products and get her into the MLM community. My wife was trying to sell her skincare products. So there were just a bunch of entrepreneurs trying to sell each other. And they went, met at Chris's house. Chris stepped out. My wife, Allah fell in love with Chris introduced us and that's how we met the short story love it well they were busy Chris, trying to tell each other. we were just we were just having drinks and and cigars out in the backyard waiting for them to be finished and uh hey that's <laughs> how they, you know. that's how all the friendships and history are, are formed is you're waiting for the wives to finish their conversation and you get bored and you start just talking with each other right <laughs> I, I, I swear i told i told my wife everybody knows this if it wasn't for her i'd be a hermit somewhere in the corner of my room with no friends, zero friends, and only because of her. So, you know, you got to give her some credit. There you go. There you go. Uh, credit where credit is due. So, uh, love that. So, guys, let's talk promo mash. Um, in the spirit of Seven Hats podcast, let's go a little deeper. You've always talking to me offline about Seven Hats. How they go? They go a lot deeper. Talk about the ups and the downs and the roller coaster effect of running a business. Uh, tell us about ProMash, and it is definitely brutal last year. The fact that there's no demos—I know that's how you're, that's where your software really thrives. 
uh, creation of it. We can hear about that. But tell us, how did you guys weather the storm in 2020? I'm sure you've heard this a million times, that question. But tell us more about history of it and where you're at now. Chris, go ahead. I've been doing all the talking. Go ahead. Uh, yeah, talk about uh, brutality. That was the definition of brutality. Uh, I'm sure. I'm sure we weren't the only ones that felt that way. But yeah, it was. Uh, it was tough because, uh, you know, we were one of those industries that pretty much, you know, got shut down. So that was that was the vast majority of our uh, our revenue stream overnight. Poof, gone. Um, so we got a little bit of you know sort of loan assistance from the government as uh, as did some uh, some other small businesses uh, and and we really took rapid action. Uh, we got very creative. We had a ton of support from our team who took tremendous haircuts and made all kinds of sacrifices. Uh, and I think you know we we really relied on a lot on. Every, we pulled out all the stops. We relied a lot on our culture that we'd really invested in a lot. Everybody loved working in our company and together, and we just, you name it, we tried it and did it in order to uh, to pull through. And we did lose uh, some valued members of the team, but uh, but much of the core remained. And and uh, at the same time, we pivoted into other areas of revenue generation that we had already been working on before the pandemic hit. So it was a good combination of uh, of of reacting and uh, adjusting and pivoting. Love it. And I think uh, most important thing that I'm seeing now is that I'm seeing emails from Promo Mash from Yuval. I don't know, you know, Yuval's sending some, he has someone else sending them, whoever's sending them, they're coming my way that like demos are back and Whole Foods, like nationally, they're bringing demos back. So you guys are now hitting the ground running again and we're starting to get back to what it was before, which is always good. So, okay, so that's Promo Mash. Anything else you've all on the Promo Mash side? Because I also want to I want to dig into the podcast stuff as well. Yeah, I mean, I think in Promo Mash, the, the the saving grace for us was the fact that we got into trade management and trade promotion and deduction management as a service. So that allowed us to get in touch with the brands and really help them through you know, the difficulties of 2020 while still keeping, staying in business. 2021 and 22, demos will come back, but now we're really entrenched in trade and deduction management as a service. And that's what's really kind of pushing the company forward. So that's the exciting part for us and for me. Definitely. Uh, I love how just right to the point, boom, you're going to make it really easy for us to stay under 15 minutes here for our show. Um, normally I go like 10 minutes over and it's usually always my fault. Um, you know, talk about, I think uh, Chris said the word uh, brutal or brutality. Deductions are brutal, mm -hmm. um, yes. you know, coming from this business. And there's a lot of entrepreneurs watching. We get three to 4,000 views, sometimes more. We'll probably get 10,000 for this one, uh, given that we're all going to share it and all that good stuff. But um, man, like, you know, the Cahees, the Unifies, there's deductions for everything. Like if you're a brand <clears throat> that every time you take a breath, <clears throat> they, they do a deduction for you. Uh, every time someone opens a bottle at store level, they do a deduction yep. for you. Everything. So how are you guys actually dialing in and being the watchdog to make sure that these deductions are actually correct and like valid? Because we've caught deductions all the time that are not valid and eventually they give us a refund, but it's like a full-time job to try to catch these. Sure. So what do you guys do in that front? Want me to take it? Either one. All right, I'll do a quick one you can add. So basically what we decided to do is we wanted to take all the responsibility away from the brand or from the brokers or from their accounting team, which you know could be used for other aspects of their business, right? Uh, so we're doing deduction management as a service. What we're doing is we're digitizing every single one of those invoices that come in, uh, line iteming every single one of them. Then we're going to reconcile them and validate those invalid deductions. We're looking at six to 15% of the deductions that are coming in as invalid. And then we're going out to dispute and recover those uh, deductions from the distributors or the retailers. Uh, we have a 75 or so percent uh, success rate in uh, getting the deductions back once we dispute. So if you look at a company, you're probably looking at if we do the, the service for you top to bottom, 
you're looking at probably gaining back, and Chris can correct me if I'm wrong, somewhere between a percent or percent and a half of top line revenue after it's all That's done. Pure profit. Of, as pure profit, exactly. Wow. So we do everything. We do the entire the entirety of deduction management. You do nothing except for see the graphs, the charts, the dashboards, and get data that you can upload into your into your ERP system. And so we take all the headaches and we have the experts and we have a database of all the charges and we can match it up to all the promotions and it just gets loaded into the accrual side of things. So now you can see planned versus actual. It's really pretty cool. I actually showed your VP of sales uh, what, um, what we're doing and he was pretty excited, so. Oh yeah, yeah, Gavin. Yeah, Gavin mm -hmm. Lindy. Very cool. And he works with a, uh, another brand as well. You might want to hit up uh, Hop Tea. Because I yep. know uh, they're working with Unify nationally, which equals a crap load of chargebacks. A so lot of chargebacks, um, yes. again, I'm, I'm I'm fans of them for getting it to the store, but there's so many chargebacks and there's so many yeah. codes and it's hard to understand. And there's a disconnect where they just put in the codes, and half the time, uh, you know, they're they're kind of hoping that you don't know what it is, and then they take it out. Uh, yep. That just just being honest. That's what happens. Usually they want to be right and it's valid, but every once in a while something is not valid. I think you said like, like 8 to 10% of all deductions are not valid. Was that a correct We're seeing number? up to 15%. 15%. From our up Holy to 15. crap. Jesus. Yep. That's that could, a lot of money. That's a lot that's of a lot money, of money, dude. That's a lot if of money. If you're not on top of that, it's like walking around the street with money hanging out of your pockets and you. You expect they're not going to grab it. They're going to. And and kind of being on top of it is more or less keeping them honest. I like the word watchdog, like you said. That's that's kind of the function that you're doing is, is you've got to show them that you're on top of things just so they don't try it. And it's not just the recovery, though. It's understanding your actual charges because with your direct and indirect customers, right? Because you might have UNFI and they feed up a whole bunch of indirect customers. You want to know by indirect customer what you're spending. Because a lot of times they'll do a free fill and then do another free fill. And you, unless you really keep track of each individual charge over time, you're never going to see where your problems lie and you're making decisions uh, on your budget, on your next year's planning. If you don't have that data, you're kind of screwed. You're, you're dealing with incorrect garbage in, garbage out kind of deal. Exactly. You're like driving through a blizzard, can't see where yep. you're going. So what is the what is the fee structure for this? Just for anyone who's watching this, is it retainer plus a percentage of what you recover, or what's your fee structure like? We have a subscription fee, a very very reasonable subscription fee at this point. Uh, and well, what what it, is that amount? Just range. It it really depends on the company, so it's hard for me to give you you know, uh, but it starts at fifteen hundred a month. Super reasonable for like yes. how much money you can gain back. Yeah, and we don't oh, yeah. take a per we don't take a percentage of sales. I'm sorry, of recovery. So basically, you would need to spend at least five, six grand or more to get an expert on your team to do the deductions on your behalf. We do it for you know a third of the price or you know an eighth of the price, whatever it is. And then if you have if you're a much larger company, obviously you'll pay more because there's a lot of more work on our on our end. But for any emerging brand. 1500 bucks a month that gets you gets you started with full deduction management and you'll get you'll pay for back it will pay back for itself cool and then the website is it under promomash.com or is it under a Correct. different website okay everyone oh, go to promomash.com check out the program i'm going to put yuval and chris's information linkedin you can click on them message them and find out more and i recommend this to anyone and everyone that has a CPG business that's in distribution right now, which is pretty much everyone watching this, right? So uh, we have about a minute. Give us a one minute elevator pitch, a really long, slow, antiquated elevator from floor <laughs> one to floor 10 about Seven Hats podcast. I'm really excited about this one. Give us a, uh, a little summary there, you all. So the Seven Hats podcast is 25 years in the making. It's my ups and downs, uh, my bottoms, and um, through the 25-year career that I had in entrepreneurship. Basically, the Seven Hats are the seven categories of your life. And what happens is most entrepreneurs focus on one thing, and that's their career and their business and enterprise. So what happens is they get they become successful. They might, you know, make a whole bunch of money. They exit, but at the end they're not fulfilled. And why aren't they fulfilled? Because they never spent any time on their, their themselves, their family, 
uh, their spouse, their kids, their spirituality, contribution, finances. So there's all these other aspects of your life that are critical in order to maintain while you try to attain success uh, in achievement. So it's not just achievement, it's achievement plus fulfillment. And that's really all about this, this, what the seven hats is all about. So we interview amazing entrepreneurs that will hit on health and wellness, that will hit on um, you know different eating plans, different meditations that you can you know work through. We had a guy named Atma, who's my spiritual teacher. We spoke about what it means to be a spiritual entrepreneur. Uh, Ted Ning came in. We talked about a, what it means to be a conscious philanthropic entrepreneur with his Loha's experience. So we've done a tremendous or we're trying to provide a tremendous value to young entrepreneurs who will make the mistake, okay, guaranteed, on focusing too much on their business and then later on regret it because at the end, the win doesn't matter. What matters is the journey and what you're about and what you've accomplished throughout your life, but not just financially. And that's mm. the seven hats. That's beautiful, man. Beautiful. I can feel the passion and the energy from it as you're talking about it. And it's so, I mean, this is another conversation, uh, bring you guys back on, but it's, it's so critical to have that balance. It's so critical. And there's a, there's a, a term for it. I can't remember what it is, but when you arrive at success and you cannot even enjoy it because you're so battered and beaten and, um, just morally and spiritually bankrupt, you can't even enjoy your success. So all that you've been working for, like, you know, you don't even get to enjoy it um, when you're at the, uh, you know, at the exit or at the, when you're successful. So the I sad love, part, I love the that. sad part is that there are based on surveys, there are about 70% of entrepreneurs are depressed. If yep. you look at billionaires and multi multi-millionaires, they're not happy. A lot of them are not happy. Mm -hmm. And there's a reason for that, because in their mind, they had a destination. They reached that destination and then they said, is this all there is? And that's what we want to avoid. Mm, love that. Well, it's like looking at Steve Jobs, right? When he was on his deathbed, there's a, if you Google Steve Jobs deathbed quote, he, he yep. says like, I, I attained every type of success in my life, yet I'm still not fulfilled and I'm not truly happy. And I wish, I wish I spent more time with my kids. I wish I spent yep. more time with my wife. Like these are the things that he is saying when he's stripped bare and he's about to die that's what he's thinking of. And for that, I think that's proof. You got to focus on yourself. So Bingo. awesome stuff. I love that. Right. So let's get into our next segment because we're running out of time. And this is called Rapid Fire Questions. Rapid Fire Questions. <laughs> All right. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to alternate. Um, <laughs> but if you guys... If you guys are like, you know, if I ask someone a question, you're like, dude, I'm going to pass that to the other guy because I don't want to answer this crap. Just let me know. Just pass it on to the other. You each get one pass. Okay. So if you don't want to answer it or if it's a stupid ass question, pass it on to the other. So I'm going to start on the left, on my left, which is you, Yuval, and uh, ask a question. Then I'm going to alternate to Chris. Again, you each get one pass to pass it to each other if you don't want to answer it. All right. Ready, guys? Yep. Okay, so first question for you all. NSYNC or Backstreet Boys? I really hope that I can say none. But <laughs> if I have to say, I would say NSYNC. If I okay. had to. There we but go. I'm not going to because none is the answer. No is the answer. <laughs> okay, yes. first, uh, we're breaking records here on 15 Minutes of Genius. That's the first time someone said no to the first one. <laughs> I'll leave it to you, Val. He's the one that's breaking the mold. All right. So, Chris, first thing you do when you wake up, you got the better question on this round. <laughs> you want to pass? Zoom. No, I turn on Zoom. You turn on what? Zoom. Turn turn on Zoom. Okay. I was I'm getting on I was getting within, I'm on a video call within three minutes of waking up. Okay, I was uh, I was worried like you were you know you're you're gonna pass it. All right. No, no, the, no. the better question is when do you wake up? Team. When do you wake up? Yeah, yeah. that's the better question. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's hopefully it's before noon. So, all right. So movie you can uh, you can watch an unlimited amount of times. Back to you all. Easily, Goodfellas. 
I love that movie. One of my favorites. Okay, back to Chris. Song you can listen to an unlimited amount of times. Asia by Steely Dan. Okay. Favorite sport to watch. Back to you all. I would say basketball. Love it. Okay, Chris, you've already answered this, so this is easy. Zoom, Microsoft Teams, or Google Meet. <laughs> can I say no? <laughs> <laughs> you guys are more alike than I thought. Okay. Uh, what is your spirit animal evolve? This is a good one for you because you're spiritual. Uh, my spirit animal is, I would say, eagle. Eagle. That's mine too, man. Love nice. eagles. I love the band, the Eagles. I love the <laughs> Eagle. I'm also bald, go. so, uh, so the go. bald eagle. I'm getting there, Alex. You're you're way ahead. Trust me, you're you're good <laughs> compared to me. That's why I wear a hat. Uh, Windows. It's it's my wife says wear a hat because it's good for the branding. That's what she tells you me. You come on you come on the show. I'll get you a seven <laughs> hat. hat. How's that? I love it, man. Let's do it. All right, back to uh, Chris. Window seat or aisle seat on an airplane? Oh, definitely aisle seat. I need the freedom. You've all peanut butter or almond butter or neither. Ooh, almond is good. Chris, omnivore, flexitarian, vegetarian, or vegan? All of the above. All the 100. above. Cool. Omnivore covers it all. Cold weather or hot weather? You've all. You guys have not used the pass yet, and I guess you don't have to. But hot weather. Okay, Chris. Uh, this is actually because you've all. You said basketball. So, Chris, mm -hmm. you may want to be to be nice to him. You can pass it to you all because this is a basketball question. It's going to see how great you, uh, you guys are being partners. LeBron James or Michael Jordan? You want to take oh, that Michael or pass Jordan. it? Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan. Okay, he didn't I pass that. it. I would say the same thing. There you go. So, ginger or turmeric? You all. Ginger. Love sushi. Favorite food or drink if you're stuck on a deserted island? That This is for both of you. You cannot say any brand you've ever worked with in your entire lives, and you cannot say Genius Juice. You can't say any brand that you've ever worked with. Didn't we work with every brand, Chris? Oh, sorry. All right, go on. Or it could be like a food that's not a brand. It could be like... Well, I'll go first. I will say that sushi is my <laughs> go-to. With ginger. <laughs> with ginger. Exactly. And Chris? Gosh. For many years, I joked that if I got stranded on a desert island and I had to eat one food every meal for the rest of my life, it would be hamburgers. But I don't feel that way anymore, and I can't think of anything I would not get tired of. So, sushi. Sushi. <laughs> you guys are just uh, the same person, seriously. All right, so that is Rapid Fire Questions with Yuval. And Chris, co founders of Promo Mash, Seven Hats Podcast at Yuval. Make sure to check it out. We'll have a link right below with both their, uh, their names. You can click on them, get in touch with them. Uh, and then also for, so it's promomash.com. That's where they can find everything as well. So yep. that's episode eight. They can also 80. email me if they want. So. And what's, what's your email? Yuval, Y U V as in Victor A L, at promomash.com. Okay, and I'm, I'm assuming Chris at Promo Mash. Dot com. No, CAA. no, no, no he not that. And it's, uh, it's, it's secret because I don't want anybody to. <laughs> you've all the front man. You're just in the background. You're just, you're, you're I'm just uh, a lousy figurehead. Yeah, there you go. All right, well, thanks, guys. I appreciate you joining us on the show. Always a, a treat to have you both on. And uh, best of luck with Promo Mash and Seven Hats. It's also really exciting. So congrats on all your success. Thanks for joining us, Good guys. See you, have a wonderful see night. You. Same here, Alex. Thanks. Take care. All right, so that's episode 82 of 15 Minutes of Genius. That was with Yuval, Selleck, and Chris Imbarian, Promo Mash, and Seven Hats. Make sure to check both of those out. Uh, and uh, big plug, Mark Nicholas, Mark, and ManhattanBeachStudios.net. He does podcasts. He does videos. He does audio. He does music. He does tons of stuff that um, I don't even know what he does. That's how much he does. I don't know all of it. So make sure to email him, Mark, and ManhattanBeachStudios.net. Uh, we're also on Apple Podcasts, we're on Spotify, we're on YouTube, we're on LinkedIn, uh, under 15 Minutes of Genius. And uh, one last thing, stay genius, my friends. Genius for life.
Coconut smoothies coming at you. 